Buenos dias, mis amigos. John, chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may also. I'm sorry, there ye may be also. That where I am, there ye may be also. Okay, so Jesus has ascended to heaven, and he was going to return in the clouds of heaven, and then he's going to stomp his foot on the head of the serpent, destroying all evil forever. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. Right? We read this over and over, and over and over, all throughout the Bible, until I make thy foes thy footstool. Genesis 3, verse 15, It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Right? So all throughout the Bible, we know that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, he's going to stomp his foot on the head of the serpent. But first, he's going to lift us up out of this world. Right? We're going to be lifted up into the air to meet the Lord. Right? So when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, we are lifted up. We are gathered together. Right? When this happens, it is the end of the world. Therefore, the unsaved have no more opportunity to get saved. This is why the whole earth will mourn, because the whole earth will know it's the end of the world. There is no more opportunity to get saved. There is no more opportunity for everlasting life for those that are not saved, and they know it. That's why they're mourning. That's why we read in Luke 21, men's hearts failing them for fear. Because they know it's the end of the world. So here in John 14, Jesus says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So when Jesus returns in the clouds of heaven, we are lifted up into the air. Right? The, the city of God is up in the air. In my Father's house are many mansions. Right? This is up in the air. The new Jerusalem is up in the air. And so Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us. It's up in the air. It's up in heaven. And when he returns in the clouds of heaven, we will be lifted up to meet the Lord in the air. Our enemy is gathered at our feet. Right? And Jesus will stomp his foot on the head of the serpent, destroying all evil forever. Right? So, again, when this happens, we are up in the air, our enemy is at our feet, prophesied from Genesis to Revelation, over and over and over and over and over and over again and again and again and again and again. All right, we get 360 different degrees of the same teaching. We get to see it from every possible angle. We have no excuse. Yet, 99.9% .9 of the teachers today teach things contrary to the Word of God. Now, here in Revelation 20, we read in verse 9, they, the unsaved, went up on the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. Where is the camp of the saints in the beloved city? You can't figure it out? No. John 14, I go to prepare a place for you, and I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. You can't figure it out? Why? 
Why can't you figure out? Because this is contrary to what Reverend Smitty said? Is that what is holding you back? Is that what hinders you? Because you want to trust what man has said over the Word of God? I mean, you see this, right? And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. Where's that at? Where is that? You can't figure that out, can you? Why? Because it's contrary to what Reverend Smitty said. Right? Well, I just showed you verse after verse from Genesis to Revelation over and over and over and over again. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout of the voice of the archangel with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So here in Revelation 20, excuse me, Revelation 20, where is the camp of the saints about? Where are we going to be when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven? Where? We're going to be up in the air. Well, why would you teach anything contrary to that? I know, I know what Reverend Smitty says, but why are you trusting Reverend Smitty over the written word of God? Why? You don't trust God? You trust Reverend Smitty? Are you kidding me? You don't trust God? That's the only reason. That there is no other reason for believing Reverend Smitty over the written word of God. Revelation 20 verse 9. And the compass the camp of the saints about in the beloved city the beloved city is above absolutely above I mean it's it's all over the it's, a, it's more than obvious man more than obvious Jerusalem which is above is free which is the mother of us all and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also where's that at? up in the air to meet the Lord in the air right so Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us right in my father's house are many mansions where's Jesus at he's up in heaven he ascended to heaven he's preparing a place for us and so the Saints will be up in the air with the Lord right up in the air with the Lord the Saints will be up in the air with the Lord and the beloved city the beloved city Jerusalem which is above is free right so we're up in the air and be and look face it man you want to be up in the air because fire is gonna come down from God out of heaven and devour them that are on the earth so be thankful that you'll you're gonna be up in the air if you are saved if you're not saved buddy you're in trouble you're in big trouble all right, let's go to Second Peter three, and I'll close it on this right here. Second Peter three, uh, chapter three. Um, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Burned up. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. Fire comes down from God out of heaven. Fire comes down from God. Where are we when this happens? The day of the Lord? When fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them? We are up in the air with the Lord. You don't want to be any other place. And you certainly don't want to be teaching anything contrary to to this.